So the Javante Tank Davis Vasily Lomachenko fight not respected by Shakur Stevens. <laughs> Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video. Catch me live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7 30 p.m. Central Time. I'm also live every Sunday morning with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network at 9 a.m. Central Time. And I ask that you join the channel as a member, drop super chats and super thanks when you come by the live streams and the videos that we do. And hit me up if you want to debate. Email address is knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com. Or you can just come by the channel while I'm live. We can debate right then and there. But let's get to it. So Shakur Stevenson did an interview on Fight Hype. He was asked about the Tank Davis and Lomachenko um, fight. And his response to that fight shocked me. But at this point, as a, a commentator, maybe I should stop being shocked and surprised when fighters such as Shakur Stevenson contradict themselves and prove themselves to be the exact opposite of what they call themselves. He calls himself real. I ain't no hater. I'm a real one. And then proceeds to go on, on to contradict himself and be a hypocrite about Tank Davis fighting Lomachenko. Now, I don't understand why Shakur Stevenson thinks that people hate him or that people are hating on him no bro people just want you to use your talent to fight and not run number one number two you bring out videos like this from commentators such as myself because how could you of all people say that you don't respect tank davis versus vasily lomachenko when you yourself was begging for the lomachenko fight how come you versus Lomachenko, you said it would be a master class, a uh, master chess match, um, two master boxers going at it, and you were asking him to give you the opportunity, all respectful, because you had so much respect for him. But now when Tank Davis is getting ready to fight him, you ain't got respect for the fight no more. How does that make sense, bro? At the end of the day, Shakur Stevenson is just salty because he's not getting the opportunities that he feels like he deserves. And going on interviews, bashing Javante Tank Davis at every turn is not the way to get to where you want to get to. We've seen this movie already, bro. I've seen this movie. And some movies are really good to where you want to watch them over and over and over again. But I'm making this video because I don't want to watch this movie no more. But I've seen this movie where Oh, I'm going to hate on everything that Tank do. I'm willing to lie to do it. I'm willing to contradict myself to do it. I'm willing to be a hypocrite to do it. In hopes that that'll get me the star power that I want or that'll get me the fight that I want. No, bro. We've seen this shit before. Devin Haney, seen it before. You starting to do the same shit while calling yourself real. Any combination as a fight fan. Any combination of Tank Shakur and Loma fighting each other is a great fight. And whoever win any combination in three right now deserve full credit. Those are the three best fighters at the 135 pound division. And the gap between them and everybody else is pretty wide right now, bro. Now, obviously, selfishly, as a Tank Davis fan, I tell y'all, yes. I'm glad if Tank Davis gets the opportunity against Lomachenko before Shakur Stevenson. That makes his that makes his um his resume better, number one. Number two, it gets us a step closer to the Shakur fight because it eliminates an opponent for both of them. So somebody knock off Loma and then boom, all they got left is each other. Simple math, bro. And I don't understand how Shakur we want all the respect in the world if he were fighting Lomachenko. If he was getting in the ring with Loma. He wouldn't want nobody calling Loma old. He wouldn't want nobody saying Loma's past it. He won't he would want everybody under the sun to respect that fight. But when somebody else gets the fight, he don't want it to be respected. Hell, you talking about you about to prove the great you the greatest in the world. Watch my show. I'm about to put on the show. Show everybody I'm the greatest in the world. Shut all the haters up. Why? Cause you fighting the motherfucker that Frank Martin beat already. So you fighting Artem, should, we should respect that. But Tank and Loma fighting each other, we shouldn't respect that. How does, like, 
I don't understand how you could sit down if you're Shakur Stevens, get in front of an interview, get asked that question, and then forget everything you said about Loma and everything that you said you wanted and fighting Loma just because you want to hate on Tank Davis, bro. Just because you want to try to hate on the motion that he got right now, bro. Need be mad at your promoter, bro, not the fight. The right answer is, I think that's a great fight, but Bob Abram should have got me that fight. That's why I'm looking to leave right now, because he ain't give me no fight. I'm over here on your stable. How could you not get me to fight when I'm here on your stable? How come me and Loma ain't fighting each other? That's what he should be on. But instead of being on the fighters, you can't get mad at Loma either for fighting Tank over you. It's like these dudes keep getting mad at fighters for choosing to fight Tank Davis. Like, bro, he get them more money than you, more notoriety than you. He's a bigger name than you. And he's a better fighter and a more dangerous fight to many fans, myself included. Even if you think Shakur Stevenson is better than Tank Davis, there's no threat of him knocking your ass out and sending you to the hospital. There's no threat of him putting you on a highlight tape. You can fight Shakur Stevenson and go to dinner with your lady after, bro. It'd be just fine. But the idea that somebody is ducking you or avoiding you to fight Tank is crazy. It's crazy, bro. It makes absolutely no sense. And anybody not respecting Tank versus Loma, bro, just stay the fuck around for me. You ain't a boxing fan, dog. Anybody that's trying to act like that fight is not a good fight. And I told y'all this shit would come, bro. I told y'all I said people gonna act like they don't respect the fight. They gonna act like Loma ain't shit. He way too old. They gonna act like they gonna act like um, you know, Loma is somebody's leftovers. Like he ain't been competitive and had an argument to win every fight he ever been in. Like I told y'all this shit would happen, bro. I told you from jump, and everything that I told you would happen is happening right now. But real ones are going to understand, and real ones are going to know that this is a great fight, bro. This will be one of the best fights that we'll see this year. They styles go well together. And they're both highly accomplished fighters. Um, Tank will have an opportunity to unify for the first time. You know, not unifying against no fucking Oscar Valdez, bro. Not snatching up all the belts from fucking George Cambosos, bro. Snatching a belt from Lomachenko. Then potentially snatching a belt from Shakur Stevenson. His run is about to be one of the best runs in recent history when you look at who he got to go through to accomplish what he got to accomplish, bro. Then you got Keyshawn Davis, bro. Who looks like he about to fight Baranchek, bro. That'll be another good fight if Tank decides he want to go for undisputed bro so i just i sit back bro and i listen to these fighters talk and i listen to these interviews and i can't help but just wonder like all these this money that people are spending on on all this other shit man somebody need to get these dudes like a, a media coach an interview coach so they can learn how to answer questions and and have a consistent message to the fans bro because that that turns me off from like being a fan of yours when you're not consistent with your message when you contradict yourself when you when you're a hypocrite i don't like them type of people around me in real life i'm definitely not gonna spend my money to watch those type of people i don't like that shit bro and it's just it, he just like his mentor bro Terrence Crawford shit on Sean Porter. Sean Porter, Sean Porter, trash. He is, he is, he is. Then the moment he got ready to fight Sean Porter, he had all the respect in the world for him. But when Sean Porter was fighting Earl Spence, Sean Porter wasn't shit. Shakur doing the same shit, bro. Same shit. Same goddamn shit. I want Loma. It's two master boxers going at it. All respect and love, champ. Let's get the people to fight that they want to see. Hey, Shakur, Tank fight. Tank versus Loma is, is, is done. Bob Irvin said they're working on that fight right now. Oh, man, that's a trash fight. That's not to be respected. I can't respect it, you know. I can't respect that fight. What? What you talking about, bro? Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I, I, I think 
people gotta give props where props is due regardless of whether or not you like the person, bro. And this idea that people have where it's okay just to hate on somebody all the time because you don't like them, that shit crazy. You gotta give respect where it's due. And it seemed like the truth is coming out there. No matter what time you do, y'all gonna hate them anyway, bro. Whether you a fighter or a fan of a fighter, y'all hating on him anyway. He'll never fight Loma. I want the Tank versus Loma fight. Tank versus Loma coming. Oh man, Loma. Oh, what he wait so long for? What's good? Like why he fighting them now? Like bro, bunch of bunch of imbeciles to be honest with you. But that's all I got, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment below. Smash a like. Sub to the channel. See y'all soon.